Uh, first, yeah. Hey, <laughs> yo, what's up, bro? You are indeed the first. Okay, so I'm going uh, to wait a little bit for some people to join. Maybe we can get enough viewers going. Uh, but yeah, I got some boxes of Great Legend and decided I'd open them on uh, on stream. So let's see what we can get. I also got the new starter decks, which is pretty sweet. And um, these, by the way, in case anyone's wondering, these are the Japanese versions. Um, the English versions come out. Uh, Great Legend got delayed till June like 11th, I think. Uh, so like the first or second week of June. Um, and then the starter decks also, I want to say, are coming out around that time. I'm not entirely sure. So if anyone knows, you can you can double check. But but yeah, uh, I got these to add to my collection. So. Uh, might as well, might as well open them up. And see what we can get. There's a lot of, there's a lot of really cool cards out of this set. So we'll see what I can pull. But hopefully, uh, Chaos Mon would be like the only card I'm like. Chaos Mon and like Rise Greymon would be, uh, I like those are the best cards I think that I'm looking for at least. Alright, so I think I'm going to start with the starter decks, probably, um, and then open up the boxes a little bit later, because those are like, uh, that's what I'm looking forward to the most. So I think I'm going to open up the starter decks first. I don't know how many people have already seen these, um, but I mean, the contents are the exact same between the English and the Japanese versions. So, but I, I haven't like, I know what cards are in them, but I haven't like actually seen them yet, obviously. Any good structure deck cards? Yeah, there's there are some good ones. Um, I think the best structure deck is the green one, but the best cards out of all the structure decks, you get the new one cost blockers for purple, black, and green. So I think, I think I'll save green for last, but you get the new um, one cost blockers, which is like the best thing, I think. Uh, but then each, each of the others does have some like pretty cool boss monsters. I think greens is the best uh, being Hercules Kabuterimon. I think that one is hands down. Uh, the best like boss monster, the best like, um, yeah, just I I think the greens are the best starter deck. So if I can actually get this open, and then we can go ahead and uh, see what's up. All right. All right. So yeah. So in the Japanese versions, they all they give you is like the deck itself. I know in the English versions, you get like a booster pack with it, which is kind of cool. But then again, these ones are also cheaper, so it's like, you know, pick your poison. Um, but hopefully you guys can see this. Okay, like, I don't, I don't the quality looks fine to me, but <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, so but I, the black starter deck is just more blockers and stuff. You got Kapurimon, um, which is if this Digimon has blocker, you get to, like, it gains a thousand. So that's a pretty cool Digi Egg. Um, but then honestly, a lot of the other cards aren't, like, the best. Like, you've got um, Jazamon here, which is, like, a two cost for black which is pretty cool and then agumon blocker which is pretty sweet this is the first time i'm seeing this um so you got another rookie blocker instead of like gatsumon being the only one now you actually have like another rookie blocker that you can go to he is only a thousand so like that, that's kind of not that good uh but you know and then toy agumon here uh this digimon has the inherited effect where if your opponent has a digimon that didn't attack um like during their turn you get to draw one like at the end of that so at the end of your opponent's turn. So it's, it's kind of an interesting effect. I don't know how playable, like, uh, these cards are. Like, I think Agumon is very playable, but I don't know about Toy Agumon. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm assuming you can't read it because it's in Japanese, not because the quality is bad. <laughs> but, okay, yeah, I was like, if you can see, like, see the images, okay, that that's cool. Um, but, yeah, Commandron going to be really good when D-Brigade comes out. We're getting D-Brigade in Great Legend, actually, um, so you're getting Dark Dramon and all the other Command Dramons, and then you have like Tank Dramon and all all those guys. So this guy's actually, despite being a four cost uh, rookie, which is pretty shit to be honest, uh, it's actually like pretty playable. And then you got Greymon here. Uh, I like to call him like Virus Greymon or like Black Greymon, but you know you got him. He has the same effect as Toy Agumon. And then you got uh, another the evolution of Jazamon, which is Jazadomon. And he's just a vanilla, <laughs> not much to say there. And then this this is like the best card out of the um, 
star deck, which is unfortunate they only give you two. So, like, you'd probably either need to, like, get two copies of the structure deck um, or just, like, get these, like, as singles. But, yeah, this, this is, like, straight up just the best card is. Dark Tyranomon is a one-cost uh, blocker um, for black. So, black's already not, like, super good with memory management. So, having this helps out, like, a lot. <laughs> like, it, it, it's really good. Like, this is a staple in, like, every black deck. So, like, I'm going to put the good cards over here. Like, we got, like, Agumon, Dark Tranamon, and then, like, I'll put Commandermon over here as well. But, yeah, unfortunately, you only get two. But, I mean, they, they have to give you two of something, right? They always... They can't just give you, like, a full playset, I guess. And then... You, okay, then you got Metal Greymon. This is the Metal Greymon that says, um... When it's evolved, you get to give one of your Digimon blocker until the end of your opponent's next turn. So it's pretty cool. It's a very interesting effect. Um, so, like, it lets you have a blocker without actually playing a blocker. So you could give this to something maybe like um, like an Omnimon Alteress or something. Like, that'd be pretty sweet. So I think that's a pretty sweet card. Um, never to give Dark Tyranomon to Yellow. <laughs> yeah. If you got two starter decks, you get the new promo pack. Yeah, so... Um, if, as far as the, like, I don't know if the Japanese release was doing that. Since I ordered them online, like, not through an LGS, that I didn't get any. Um, but, yeah, if you are planning on getting the structure decks, any of them, um, when you, they released in English, you do actually get a new promo pack uh, if you get two of these. And then if you buy 12 packs of Great Legend, you get, like, another dash pack, and then you get one if you buy a box. There was a huge, like, news update for, like, a Great Legend English, English release. Uh, like earlier today so yeah you get like I would just like which is good I really like how they're incentivizing people to buy sealed product because that's what keeps the game alive and like I do honestly think like these are good values um, even in the English release you got a metal tyrannum on there um, so so it's good that they're incentivizing you to like actually buy sealed product which is nice um, and then we got Megadramon this is the one with the inherited blocker effect, which I think is a really, really cool effect. Like I said, being able to give this to, like, a level 7, I think would be really sick. Like, I, I kind of want to make a deck around this guy. This guy's really cool. So, Mega Dramon. And then we got the new Machine Dramon. Uh, the Machine Dramon's okay. It says, um, you know, when it's evolved until the opponent's end of your opponent's next turn, you can give up to two of your opponent... Uh, you can give up to two of your Digimon uh, reboot. Like, until the end of your opponent's next turn. Which is a pretty interesting effect. He is only a 3 to evolve and not, like, a 4. So, that's, like, okay. But, like, I don't know. I feel like, like, Toy Agumon's just better. If you want reboot on something, you can just, like, have the inherited effect. Uh, first anniversary English reprint if you buy 12 packs also. Yeah, exactly. And then, okay, and then this is a new Blitz Greymon. So, he looks really sick. I do like the artwork. Um, I just think the other Blitz Greymon's, like, better, because, first of all, he, this guy's, like, pure black, whereas the other one is, like, black and red. Um, and then he has Security Attack plus one, and then he has Digiburst two, where you can, um, until the opponent's end of their opponent's next turn, uh, you can give one of your Digimon 4,000 attack, or 4,000 DP. I keep saying attack. Uh, 4,000 DP, you know what I mean. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, nice little effect. Um, so Okay, so that's the all the monsters from the black ones. And then for the rest of the cards, you just got the tamers and the option cards. Um, so the only tamer they give you is the tie, which I think is a very cool card. Ty lets you suspend him uh, whenever one of your dudes blocks, and then you get to unsuspend the blocker that you just blocked with. So it potentially, like, if you have one of this on field and you have, like, a blocker, maybe a Craniumon or something, you can get multiple blocks out of just one Digimon, which is really cool. I think that's a very, very cool effect. Um, so I think, like... I don't know how much play this has seen in, like, the, the like, BT4 and 5 formats, but I honestly think it's a really underrated card. Um, so you got, you got Ty. I think he's really cool. Uh, why are so many level 5s 3 drops? I, that's just, like, the standard. I don't know, like, um, because, like, all of these guys are 3 to evolve. Yeah, 3 to evolve. There's only a couple that are 2, and only one for black, and they're, like, vanillas, right? It's just, like, it's a matter of, like, whether you want to pay to get, like, the good inherited effect, uh, like, pay to get the main effect, or, like, you, you, you know, cut that, and then you lose. I'm, like, Waru Monzaimon's a two cost, but then he's a vanilla, obviously. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just a standard. Um, are you fluent in Japanese? I'm not fluent, but I can read and write it and speak it very well. Um, I would say I'm, like, upper intermediate, but I would not call myself fluent, <laughs> if that makes sense. 
Okay, then you got Laser Eye, which is a pretty cool um, option card. And then um, I think this one, yeah, so this one gives one of your, uh, two of your opponent's Digimon uh, D-Digivolve 1. So for a 4 cost, I think that's pretty decent. Um, I don't know, yeah, I don't know how much it'll see play. Um, and then you got this, uh, you know, this last couple option cards, which I don't even know what this one does. This is uh, what, uh, level seven, 7 or lower play cost. One of your opponent's level uh, 7 or lower play cost uh, Digimon, you can destroy them. So destroy something with a play cost of 7 or lower. So for a 5, that's uh, okay. a 7 play cost is like... That's not even like a uh, mega. That's <laughs> most most ultimates are like eight actually. So I don't know. That's I don't think that's that good. Okay, so then that's the black one. Uh, like I said, there, I don't think there's that many good cards in black, but there's. Uh, I think it's still like worth the value, especially like like I said in English. If you're getting the like a great legend booster pack as well as a uh, dash pack, I think that's pretty sweet. Okay, so then we got purple here. So yeah, that was the black structure deck. <laughs> And then we got purple, and let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so we got Pagumon. Uh, this is the Pagumon that when it's deleted, you get to trash top two cards of your deck. So I don't know how, yeah, this one's okay, uh, but I still think Demi Marimon is just hands down like the the best like Digi Egg. So he's, he's all right. Uh, and then we got Demi Devimon, uh, two cost. Got Gabumon, which is pretty sweet. You just get to draw one whenever you attack with him, so that's pretty cool. And um, he, is, he is purple, so that uh, works well with like uh, the purple strategy. You just want to draw cards and discard cards. Uh, impressive. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you to say. <laughs> I want black to be good. So, but yeah, I know. black. I think black is still, like, it's playable. Like, if you should play whatever decks you want, and, like, it's still, like, definitely not terrible. Like, you, you can get some wins off of it. Definitely worth good upgrades for sure. Yeah, I agree. There's there's definitely a lot of good upgrades um, in the structure deck or starter deck, whatever you want to call it. And then this is Doragumon, and this guy lets you play him, and you can add a seven cost purple uh, option card or lower, like a seven or lower op a play cost option card from your trash to your hand. So it's pretty sweet. Uh, what nice recyclability there. Alekmon. Uh, he's 5,000 attack, which is pretty high, but, I mean, he's probably not that playable. And then you got Garurumon, this is the, I don't know if, um, I, I just call him Black Garurumon. I know Black, it, like, in, in Japanese, they're just called, like, Garurumon, Metal Garurumon, but, like, in the English translation, they call a Black Metal Garurumon. So, I, I just, I don't know, but, yeah, so this, this is the evil Garurumon. Uh, same effect as the Gabumon, just draw one when you attack. And then you got Cube. Uh, this is this is I was gonna say Cubemon. This is Yokomon. Uh, so that's this is pretty cool. I like her uh, artwork, but yep. And then you basically again best card in the deck is the Blocker Devimon. So finally have a one cost um, blocker for purple. The one cost blockers are just so good because even I mean even though you're losing attack right, he's five thousand not six, but just the one evolution cost just so good. Like it's just very good. <laughs> Dark Tyranomon is worth ten dollars to me. <laughs> yeah, no, I yo, I agree. Like Dark Tyranomon, if you're playing black, like Dark Tyranomon, you're playing in like literally every black deck ever, <laughs> Unto, unless like some other blocker comes out that's better. But I mean, in some situation, of course, the extra attack's nice. Uh, but like the one evolution cost just trumps that in my opinion. Like you're you're gonna be playing him in like every single deck. All right, some more vanillas. Got Skull Satamon. Um, so you get to. Oh, you get to just, uh, when he's evolved, you get to just add any purple um, Digimon card from your trash to your hand. So that's kind of, that's cool. Has its unique uh, plays, I think. But again, he's a three, he's a three drop evolution ultimate. So that's a, another thing we were talking about. Like, I, if you were playing like a good um, evolution, like um, a, a level five for their evolution effect, you might just want to play like Lady Devimon instead, <laughs> instead of him. But he's still pretty cool. And you got Wergurumon, again, like, Black Wergurumon, I don't know. I, I call him Black Wergurumon, but whatever. And then you have um, Venom Myotismon, who, until the, uh, until your opponent's end of their next turn, uh, up to two of your Digimon will get, uh, what's it called, Retaliation. Um, so, Retaliation, giving Retaliation to your own Digimon, is a pretty sweet effect. Like, you basically only see it on like Piedmon or Devimon like dudes who already just like inherently have it but being able to give your own Digimon 
um, retaliation. It's kind of cool effect. Like especially like if you're playing Matt or like a tamer and you start with three, you can just drop him and then give like maybe your Tapirmon or something like retaliation swing into like an Omnimon or something. So I think that's cool. Crescurumon here. I'm. This is the first time I'm seeing like the cards in person. I really like the artwork. Like the proxies and and like the car, the images online do not do it justice. Like this guy looks really sick. But uh, I think this he's a little bit also underutilized because first of all he has security attack plus one which is already good but then he has digiburst two where you get to um like you know detach to and then play a level three digimon a level three purple digimon from your trash without paying its cost so that's uh, potentially doing that two times right because if you have like four materials underneath them you could just do that twice that's like three digimon on field with just him and then plus he has security attack plus one and then maybe if you have like an Anubis Mon on field or something, they all get rushed. So I feel like that they could be some like dirty combos with them. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's that's it's definitely a cool card. I run half Cranium on, half War Greymon at three three, but now it used Numimon for to Turbo Cranium on. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that and that's another thing why the two cost evolution uh, ultimates are good because you can go into Cranium on or War Greymon that much faster. Like, yeah. And, and that's why Numamon's good, too, because he's just a one-cost um, champion. And we got Matt. Again, another one of the new tamers. So he's a two-cost, and um, whenever one of your Digimon is deleted, uh, you can suspend him and gain a memory. So, again, I feel like this is, like, I have not seen people play this, like, at all. But if you just, like, play a couple of these, like, anytime one of your dudes is killed, like, maybe a security check or even through an effect or anything... You can just gain a memory, so it's it's just like unconditionally. Anytime one of your guys is deleted, just gain a memory, which I, I f like again. I feel like that's a really good effect, but it's <laughs> underutilized. Deathclaw. This is this is one of the best cards in this in this deck. Is the um, Deathclaw option card. You basically get to uh, delete one of your Digimon, and then kill a level four or lower uh, Digimon on your opponent's side of the field. So for a one cost, like turning a Tapirmon or something into just like a suicide machine like like killing out a blocker or like any level four for one cost is pretty sweet like th this is a really good card and especially especially when we get guillemon too uh guillemon from what was it b is he's a bt5 right um the guillemon where whenever you delete him you get to like buy a card effect you get to just gain a memory so that makes this free which is pretty sweet uh, and then we got nailbone which again is a very good option card that lets you uh, revive a level four or uh, a level four and a level five purple uh, from your trash. So that's really cool. All right, so that's the purple starter deck. Again, I think it's pretty cool. Like, I definitely think all the starter decks are good, but I think green green is just the best one. Um, again, now I don't know how much play Hercules will see, especially because we don't get him uh, with full power green. Like when this came out in Japan. They had HPD at, like, full power. So, <laughs> HPD and uh, Argomon, like, level 5, unlimited. Um, but when we're getting this, uh, both those cards are limited to 1. So, so he might, like, honestly just not see as nearly as much play uh, because of that. Uh, yeah, purple is Rookie Rush with extra steps. Yeah, dude, this straight up is. Like, you literally, um, yeah, it's, it's literally a Rookie Rush deck. Uh, okay, so we got Mo Motimon here. So if this Digimon is level six or higher, uh, you just get a thousand. So pretty cool, thousand boost. Purple blockers with the retaliation. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So I think it could be good for that. And then you got Florimon, another two cost uh, rookie for green. So four thousand two cost, which is again my help in out in rookie rush uh, decks and my help out in just like Digisorption decks when you're just playing your dudes just to like suspend them. And four thousand is like kind of a lot. <laughs> so. Okay, so then we got Tentamon here. What is he drinking? Is he is that like boba tea or something? Like him and the Motimon are just like drinking some stuff. I don't know. Anyway, so you get to play him and reveal the top, uh, or reveal the top card of your deck, and then if it's green, you get to just add it to your hand. So that's cool. And then okay, so then we got Palmon. Palmon is pretty sick actually. Um, if you're attacking one of your opponent's Digimon you get to just get 2,000 DP, which is crazy, right? We've seen Minomon. Minomon's like the green Digi Egg, where if you're attacking one of your opponent's Digimon, you get to gain 1,000. But this is 2,000. 2,000 is a lot of freaking DP. That puts Hercules to 14,000. That puts Chaosmon to like 16,000. That's a lot. <laughs> Especially because green is focused on like piercing and stuff. I think Palamon's really good. Uh, and then we got uh, Kunimon. 
uh, another four cost five thousands <laughs> uh and then we got togemon and then this is um if you're attacking yeah it's the same thing as palmon if you're attacking one of your opponent's digimon i uh, get plus two thousand now i don't know how like if you want to run both of them because I, I don't know if you need plus four thousand <laughs> uh but you know it's the options definitely there so you can really like beef up your guys and and this makes it so like you don't even need to like if you just buy this starter deck you can just straight up play like Hercules Turbo and just attack over your opponent's uh, Digimon. You don't even have to worry about having level 7. And then we got, of course, the one cost blocker, uh, this Copy Terrymon. Which is pretty sweet. He's uh, just he's just lifting weights. I kind of like that. So definitely going to make uh, the green the Green's memory management like even better. Like They did not need a one evolution champion blocker. But, I mean, it's, it's there. <laughs> like, they didn't need it, but it's there. Okay, and then we got Lilymon. Uh, Lilymon's really cool. Again, like kind of underutilized. Um, but her one Digivolved effect is you get to reveal the top five cards of your deck. Uh, so like not just top three, top five is like uh, kind of rare in this game, but it's very good. Uh, and then add a six or higher Digimon to your hand. So that's for one, it's not color restricted, and two, it actually searches um, level sevens which is kind of crazy, right? You get at, I mean, it's six or higher, so like Megas, of course, too, but it searches level sevens, which is very unheard of in this game, I feel like. I don't, I can't think of another effect that does this. Aside from, uh, oh no, I was going to say Dynasmon, but no, he's six and lower. So yeah, Lilymon's kind of good. And then this Mega Kabu Terrymon's actually kind of scary. Um, he, once per turn, if you kill an opponent's Digimon, you get to just trash the top card of their security. So it's effectively security attack plus one. Which is pretty crazy, especially if you're like, um, like you know, running into them with a Hercules, hitting them from piercing, and then like using this to trash another card. That can be kind of disgusting. Uh, imagine Palmont under Boncho as an Omni player. <laughs> it keeps me up at night. Yeah, because Boncho already goes to like sixteen thousand, and then um, uh, what's it called? Palmont puts him like eighteen thousand. So like, I mean, that might not be super relevant against like Omnimon, but it's gonna be relevant as like Lord Nightmon who gains attacks during both players' turns. Um, oh, no, yeah, I, these, these are Japanese, yeah. I, I'm definitely, I will, like, for sure get some English boxes, and, like, I'll open that up on stream, too. Um, but just for now, since, like, I just like having these for my collection, but just for now, yeah, they're Japanese. And then we got Rosemon. Rosemon's a very interesting card. This works really well with Reflexiamon, because uh, her effect is whenever she's evolved, you get to just make it so that one of your opponent's Digimon can't attack or block until the end of their next turn. So this, plus Reflexiamon, which I think it does like the same thing, but it's like a Digiverse effect, uh, that, that can be extremely annoying to deal with. And then, oh man, okay, this looks so sick. Hercules Kabuterimon. This guy is so crazy. If you have not played... Uh, like BT4 format or formats on like tabletop or something where this guy's legal or like he's released this guy's an absolute monster like being able to just suspend anything with the digiburst you can suspend up to two digimon um, and then he's 12,000 with the piercing is so powerful this is a crazy card the only reason why I think it might see a little bit less plays because HPD went to one but still the fact that you can get him out super quickly because you still have Blossom on you still have Argomon at one like, this card is just still insane. I, I still think he's super crazy. Uh, and then you got Izzy, which I think is, like, the weakest of, like, the new tamers. Um, but basically, during your turn, whenever you suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, or if your opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, uh, you get to just gain a memory. So, it, it works. Like, it, like, I mean, it works with this, obviously, right? You could just suspend something, gain a memory, and then attack over it. But, I don't know. I feel like there's better green tamers out there. And then you got Needle Spray, which is the same thing as Flower Cannon. Uh, but it does have a different security effect. But yeah, so, I mean, if you want to play, like, eight flower cannons, you can. So, there you go. And then Electroshocker, which is, um, if your, like, opponent has a rested Digimon or suspended Digimon, uh, you can just, you know, return one of those to his hand. So, return a re suspended Digimon um, to the opponent's hand and discard all its materials. So, again, it's, uh, returning to the hand is, like, never good. Uh, like, Hokkaido's Breath is just, like, a terrible card, but... For five cost, you could you could convince me that that's worth playing. Okay, so that's all the starter decks. So I uh, got some cool stuff out of that. Um, but now I think what I'm going to do is open up the great legend booster boxes. So again, this is just for fun. I just got these um, 
because I was ordering manga <laughs> from Japan anyway, so I was like, you know what, let me get some, let me get some boxes, might as well. Uh, but yeah, what cards are you guys looking to, uh, looking forward to seeing out of this? There's so many cool cards in the set, uh, even on, just on the cover, you see Rise Greymon, Agunimon, War Greymon, Victory Greymon, there's so many awesome cards in this set. So yeah, let's go ahead and crack it open. And then, oh, sweet, I did actually get, um, so you get a box topper, and this will persist in the English version as well. You'll get a box topper, which I believe contains one of the alternate art tamers. So that's what we're seeing, like, on the cover there. Box, box, box. Well, Andrew, I'm I'm happy that you're excited and looking forward to this. So we'll, uh, let me move these Star Deck cards out of the way. And then we'll open up the promo pack. And then I'll just go ahead and get into the box. Now, keep in mind that the box ratios are different for the Japanese ones. Effectively, like, the English version, the English boxes are twice as big as these. I mean, they're also more expensive, but, like, they're, th this has um, 24 packs. And then I think, like, yeah, six, six cards per pack. And then you get, like, usually, like, four to five hollows out of one of these boxes. Where it's, it's like, literally doubled um, in the English version. Like, you get, like, nine hollows. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, so let's see what team we get. Uh, I don't really care which one I get. I think Marcus or Ty would be the coolest for me. Oh, we got Thomas. Sweet. He's, oh, this looks really nice. I really like that. So nice Gaumon support. Um, the deck's like not that good, to be honest. But it's, I mean, it's cool. Okay. So then, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the first box. I like how the pack is designed, too. It's like, I don't know if you can tell, like, on film. But, like, it's, like, holographic. Like, you see, like... The, the title of Great Legend and, like, some other stuff is, like, shiny. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's go ahead and get into it. Yo, Captain Levi, what's up, bro? Alright, so we got Meikumon, we got Strabimon, uh, Agumon, Otamon. Oh, we got... <laughs> okay, 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 so we got... Oh, I, I do want to say something about this. So we got Shine Greymon for a rare, which I think the Red Shine Greymon is pretty cool. We got Vitramon or Burning Greymon, and if you did not see Bandai's official announcement, like, pertaining to this card and, like, other cards like it, uh, you should maybe, like, I'd recommend just looking on their website for that. Uh, but the basic takeaway is that it is being translated as Burning Greymon in the TCG for us, uh, but it's not treated as, like, a Greymon card, if that makes sense. So, like, any, any card that, like, references Greymon doesn't work with this card. Uh, okay. So we got Super Zubagon Punch, Leomon, uh, Meteormon, uh, Hippogriffmon, and Xiaomon. And then, oh, okay, we got Ty. Cool. I think this Ty is really cool. I really like, um, I mean, if you if you know me, you know I like yellow, but uh, this Ty is really sweet. You get to suspend him uh, whenever one of your opponent's Digimon's uh, DP is reduced to zero, and then you get to just, um, you know, gain memory. That's pretty cool. All right. Alright, we got Devimon, that's the Digiburst Devimon, uh, Kudamon, <laughs> Atomic Inferno, this card's crazy, Atomic Inferno's really cool, Golemon, and Lobomon, oh, dude, oh, that's sick, we got, for our alt art, we got Agunimon, that's really cool, I, I'm down with the Legendary Warriors, I love Frontiers, so I can't even complain about this, that looks awesome, alright, I'll put that next to Thomas. Alright, we got Neo Devimon, uh, Scorpimon, Scorpiomon, Gatsumon, Falcomon, uh, Yadagaramon, and oh, oh, I didn't even notice this guy was a hollow. I was like, wait, what? We got uh, Gogumon, Gogumamon. He's pretty cool. Uh, he has Digiburst 1, and you just give something plus 2000 until the end of your opponent's next turn. And he kind of, like, I don't know how playable he is, though. He's good with, like, uh, if you're playing the, um, what's, what's his name? Blastmon? Yeah, Bla if you're playing the Blastmon, like, one-punch deck, <laughs> that just boosts Blastmon up to, like, uh, like 20,000 DP, and you just, like, hit your opponent for multiple security. That's kind of cool. But I wasn't, like, planning on playing that deck, so I don't know. Uh, oh, Jack Raid's a really good common. I didn't know that was a common. Oh, I see another hollow. Dude, we're getting hollows left and right. Okay, we got Reclusimon. He's a really cool card for blue. Um, he'll be even better 
when we once we get like Hexabloom on. Anubismon, wow, that's a really good common. Oh, dude, Falder Arm. Oh my god. This is literally the one card I want out of here. That's awesome. That is sick. Chaos Mon Valder Arm. Alright, I'm putting him down. Right there. Alright, so we got three hollows so far. Dude, I feel, I feel like everything was just in those couple packs. I'm not going to get anything in the last half of the box. Alright. We got Galgamon, Gabumon, Otamon. Oh, this is Volkdramon. He gives, uh, he's security attack plus one, just a generic security attack plus one for red, which is pretty cool. Gokimon is actually really good. Bro, a champion level four who is three to play and one to evolve is actually kind of sick. And then Hell's Gate, which is a really good option card for purple. This lets you just delete any one of your opponent's level six or higher Digimon. Like, just indiscriminately. It doesn't have to be unsuspended like Trump Sword. So that's actually, like, one of the best rares in the set. Not get this one open okay. <clears throat> All right, we got Aqua Viper. That's a cool, kind of cool card. Again, returning to the hand is never that good, but it is only a three cost, which is pretty sweet. Oh, we got a uh, Kisaimon or M oh, Missile Missilemon. Uh, so this guy's for the uh, D Brigade archetype. If it's D Brigade, you just get a thousand DP, which is pretty cool. And then for a rare, we got Valdermorn, which is uh, unfortunately like not that playable. Like the the most playable Valdermorn is a uh, Chaosmon Valderarm, but like Valdermorn himself is like he's okay. But giving four thousand to mine four thousand to everything is not like that great. Okay, we have Diadrimon, uh, Purge Shine, Makumon again, Phantomon's pretty cool, Dobermon, and oh, Commandermon. It's a good rare. Again, like I said, the D Brigade's in the set, and this guy lets you basically, whenever he's deleted, you get to just reveal the top three. Yeah, reveal top three, and then just play any Commander Mon uh, from Amongst Us Tyrion. So it makes it makes all the other Commander Mons like worth playing. Uh, like the ones from the Black Starter deck, you just like basically play every Commander Mon in the game, and then you just like get him out, spam him, and and hopefully you can get some stuff off the uh, mills. Strabimon's really cool, Galmon, Bushi Agumon, and Dark Dramon. Bushi Agumon is going to be very playable, especially because now we're getting War Greymon in the set. So then pair War Greymon with the Andrumon combo. So getting him out for free, plus he has Rush, is really cool. And then another Rush Digimon we've got is Dark Dramon. So again, boss monster for the D Brigades here. Um, and yeah, so he's pretty sweet. There's lots of good rares and commons in, in this set, and just like in Digimon in general, like it's not all about the hollows. Like in any given deck, you probably won't even have more than like eight or ten hollow cards. So I think that's pretty cool. Oh, Koromon is a really good uh, Digi Egg. If you have three or lower security, you just get uh, to do minus a thousand on any one of your opponent's Digimon. You got another Mark. Uh, I was gonna say Marcus. We got another Thomas. So now I got two of those. Uh, which, to be honest, is like the worst tamer out of all of the new ones from BT4, but I can't even complain. I do think the alt art, or not the alt art, the full art does look really cool though. Okay, I think we just saw another hollow. I don't know what it's going to be, but let's go ahead and see. We got uh, Togunemon, which is a, you know, searcher for Digiburst. We got the yellow Growlmon. We got Hugamon, which is another three play for red, but he's also one to Digiball. So I think... We got a 3-play, which was Kakatorimon, but he wasn't really played that much because he also had a 2 evolution cost, but uh, having a 1 evolution cost is pretty sweet. Oh, dude, Plutomon. Oh, Plutomon's really cool. I forgot this guy was in here. I'm really looking forward uh, to playing more purple decks, too. Especially because he, he lets you just play Hell's Gate from your hand for free. So that's pretty sick. Like, Plutomon option purple deck is, like, actually, I think it's pretty good. Especially since we already have Lilithmon and like a bunch of other just generic like option card support for purple. Grappleomon. We got Agumon here. Oh, we got um, what's the guy's name? Uh, she uh, Caesar Jamon, and then so he is the blocker for D Brigade. So he's just a, like he doesn't have like any other effect other than he's a blocker and you get minus two when you attack. But the fact that he's a D Brigade makes him like good. So this is definitely gonna see play. Um, if you're planning on playing that version of black, which is a very interesting version of black because it's not like a defensive version per se, 
uh, where black is a, usually a very defensive color, but um, D Brigade, you just want you just want to rush your opponent like straight up. Okay. Oh, cool. We got Flame on. Generic. Uh, the searcher for the hybrids and the reds. So Strabimon does the same thing, uh, but he's red. Oh, and then we got Pedomon, and he is the one cost evolution blocker for uh, yellow. So basically every color except red and blue. Red blue gets theirs in BT5, but now the other four have their one cost blocker. So he is really good. And then Tobiumon, again, another three play one cost champion is pretty sick. And then we got Reflishimon, which is pretty sweet. And then Trident Revolver, um, which is a cool option card. It lets you kill something that's 6,000 or lower, and then you get to play a red a tamer from your hand for free. So it works very well in like that Shine Greymon like uh, build where you're playing the red Shine Greymon plus Marcus and all that sort of stuff. Alright. You got Kudamon, another Atomic Inferno, Golemon. And then, oh, this is the recovery. Um, you put one of your Digimon on top of your security stack. And then we got Mock Galgamon, which is pretty cool. So I am getting a lot of, like, the Galgamon cards. So I guess that's a good that I have the Thomases. Uh, but honestly, like, their boss monster is Mirage Galgamon. And he's, like, I mean, the, the good part about him is you can't block him. Um, and then, like, you can potentially make his evolution cost, like, a one or two, which is cool. But, like, he doesn't really do much. Uh, I'm trying to open this. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't think that deck's, like, that great. Okay. Alright, so then we got another Flamemon, Devimon, Bakemon. We need option cards, so nothing than that one. So, yeah, I think we've already gotten four hollows out of this box. So, that I think we, we'll probably have one more. Another Jack Raid, which is sweet. Uh, Cerberusmon, which is a really good card uh, when you pair him with the other. Uh, I think, wait, is the other Cerberusmon? Yeah, whatever. The one that, like, when you play it, you get to delete something and then uh, you get, like, plus nine memory or something, plus five. I don't know. But that's a really cool combo with that guy. So, on deletion effects, we're all good. Another Reclusimon. Kunimon. Tomon. Oh, this is a uh, Boncho Golemon, which is a very interesting card. Oh, and then we got Zigaruma. Oh, wow. I didn't know he was a rare. Hmm. This is a pretty good rare. Uh, you get to Digiburst 2. Yeah, Digiburst 2, and then return a level 5 or lower Digimon and opponent's side to the field, um, from the field in the hand. And then uh, Boncho Golemon is a blocker. He looks really sick. Like, again, he's just a common. So, like, if you want to play, like, black blockers, like, this guy's pretty good. Uh, he's a 11,000 blocker, and then um, if your opponent has three or more Digimon on their side of the field, he just gets 3,000 during their turn. So then he becomes a 14,000 blocker, which is, like, situationally pretty good. But, yeah, so I think he's a cool card. And then if you uh, pair him with that guy, that can be even better. And another <laughs> final Zubagon punch. Uh, another Pedomon, that's cool. Oh, and then we got Sakudamon, which is a really good red Digi. I don't know how many Digi eggs I've been getting. I feel like not that much. Um, and then we got Dark Roar. And so we got like five more packs on this one, but I'm I'm totally content. I got the Valder Arm. That's like really all I wanted. And then everything else is just a bonus. But like a Lusamon? A Lusamon would be really sick. Um, or like an ancient Greymon, ancient Garurumon. I think those guys are really cool too. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna like. Like it's it's fine. Whatever I get. But yeah, those guys would be really cool, especially since I do have the Agumon to go with it. Uh, I hope like like now. I don't, uh, ancient Garurumon and ancient Greymon are like not that good of cards to be on it. Like if you compare them to like actual meta decks. Oh look at that! I got a Mirage Galgamon. Uh, I was kind of expecting this to be honest because I got like so many of the other. Gagumon cards, so that's kind of cool. I do like his artwork. It's pretty sick. Okay, so that's probably going to be our last hollow, because that is, um, we got the alt art, and we got, um, four. Oh, no, wait, I don't know, we didn't get a secret, though, so maybe not. I, I don't know if you're guaranteed a secret in, in the Japanese booster boxes. Oh, we got a Yoshi. That's, I think that's the first of her. She's actually pretty cool, uh, 
Tamer card. Not that many people like seem to use it, but you get to recycle Digi eggs from your trash, which is very good if you like if you're playing Mimi and Yoshi, um, that can be pretty good. Cause then you get to just turbo through your stack uh, with the with the Mimi and then you know recycle them with Yoshi. Oh, got another Agunimon and one of the best rares in this. I keep saying that. I keep saying one of the best rares, but this is actually one of the best rares is Mega Growlmon or War Growlmon. Uh, for yellow. Digiburst 2 and reduce something by 4,000. That guy's really, really good. Uh, BT4 JP box is 5 SR plus 1 secret slash alt art slash secret alt art. Okay. Alright, thank you for like giving me confirmation on that. I, di I didn't actually know. I wasn't certain. So I guess if, that, if that's the case, then we've got the alt art. So then one more super rare is probably what I'm going to get. Oh, I, I think I, I see it at the back, so we'll see. Uh, so I got Galgamon, Galmon, Labramon, Kendogurumon, and then we got an Aldemon. Oh, th that's sick. I got the Aldemon and a Goonimon. Now if I just get an Ancient Greymon out of the next box, that would be amazing. So Aldemon is a very powerful card. Security attack plus one, and then if he has a hybrid or red tamer, you get to just give him plus 4,000 DP. The last pack here, and I don't think yep. So, oh wow, <laughs> dude. Okay, hold up. <laughs> that was actually really cool. That was a good last pack. I kind of just blew through that. But Chaos Mon for the rare. This is like probably the best rare in the game. This that's actually crazy that this is a rare. That deserves to be a hollow. But I'm actually glad it's a rare because that just means it's gonna be really cheap. Okay, so that is it for the first box. Now, let me just kind of like move this stuff out of the way. Okay, so I'll move this, and then, so we got, so for our Alt Art Tamer, we got Thomas, and then we got all of these guys um, as our Hollows. We got the Agunimon, the Aldemon, Mirage Galgamon, Plutomon, and then uh, Go, uh, Gogumon, and then we got both the Valder Arm and the regular Chaosmon, which is pretty sweet. Alright, so I'm going to put these, like, up here. And we got the second box, so <laughs> let's see what we can get. Like, I already got the Chaos Mon, so if I could get a Rise Greymon, I don't know how hard those are to pull. Rise Greymon would be sick. But honestly, like I it like I said, it's, it doesn't matter to me what I get, but I think out of all the alt arts, um, Rise Greymon looks really cool. A War Greymon would be sick. I really like that alt art. That looks super sick. Yeah, rare level 7. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. So let's go ahead and open up the Tamer Pack. Um, maybe I can get a tie. Oh, got a Yoshino. That is pretty sweet. So I got Yoshi and Thomas, which is nice. Alright, so I'll put that up there. And let's go ahead and open the rest. I'll start with the, I'll start with the left side. I started with the right last time. I like almost all the hollows over there. Alright. Yeah, I don't know what it is about, like, opening packs, but... I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but opening packs is just so much fun. Like, it's addicting. I, I just, like, ha to be honest, I like getting the cards, but half the reason I buy boxes is just to open packs. Another Pedomon. Oh, and then we got uh, Blinding Light. That is a really good rare. This lets you trash top card your security and gain two memory. This is a staple in so many yellow decks. That is awesome. It's a very nice rare. This, like I said, there's tons of good commons and rares. All right, so let's get on to the next one. Oh, and by, I don't know if I've been saying this, but they also always give you, like, this memory gauge thing at the back, um, which is, like, kind of cool, I guess, if you don't, like, have your own memory gauge on your mat or anything. Um, so that's cool. Oh, I see a hollow. <laughs> okay, so we got Gagamon, Purge Shine, Gaomon, Leomon, Pranamon, and Dundevimon. Oh, wow. I really, the alt art of Dundevi looks, like, disgusting. It looks pretty sweet. But this card um, is good, kind of, situationally. It's it's funny I pulled this because I'm, I'm actually going to upload a video about this guy, like, probably sometime next week. So look forward to that. You'll know what I mean. But anyways, okay, so so there's Dundevimon. It's pretty sweet. Once we get, like, all the promo Devimon and, like, uh, oh, yeah, I think we're getting the promo Devimon for him. Like, the new promo Devimon in BT4, or, like, one of the tournament packs or something. Uh, so, we'll get that deck pretty soon, and that's pretty fun. It's got uh, Growlmon, Vulcanmon, um, Gabumon, Devimon, 
a Bukamon, which is a very good digi egg for blue. And then we got a Marcus. That's the first one, I believe. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's awesome. This is like one of my favorite characters in just like any of the Digimon series. I just really like him. He's badass. Alright. Alright, we got Blintmon and Gatsumon, Aqua Viper, Labramon. Uh, oh, shoot! Okay. Got yeah, Lobomon, or not Lobomon, and Beowulfmon. That's awesome. So now I got both him and uh, Aldemon. It's pretty sweet. So he has the effect where um, if you have, I think he just, yeah, he, he gets jamming. Um, or no, he just has jamming. And if he has a hybrid or a blue tamer underneath him, you can't attack, your opponent can't attack him. So having a jamming uh, target that you can just like attack with and your opponent can't get rid of him unless they use like a specific card effect, I think it's pretty like, it's pretty, it's pretty cheeky. It's, it, you could do some shenanigans with that. But I mean... The, the unfortunate thing is, is like, um, oh, well, you know what, let me, I'll save that for one if we get that, but anyways, okay, so we got, uh, another Shine Greymon, unfortunately this guy's, like, not the best, I do like how he's a yellow and a red, like, he can evolve on either, but, yeah, he's just, like, the, the yellow Shine Greymon's just, like, a thousand million times better, but he is cool, I might build that deck, like, um, like a red tamer focused deck around him. Okay, I'm just I'm just noticing that Phantom Mon has ten thousand DP. Holy shit, that's so much. Uh, Atomic Inferno, which is pretty sweet, and another Hell's Gate. Nice. Probably best purple option card. This is going to be a staple going forward. Now I don't know if it'll just straight up replace Trump Sword, because uh, it doesn't actually like trigger security. You just add it to your hand, so you can't ever like play it for free from security. Uh, but you can play it for free with. Pluto Mon, as opposed to Trump Sword, which is a seven cost. So that's kind of cool. Another Phantom Mon. Oh, I saw I saw Hollow, so we'll we'll try to like hold off on that. Uh, Tobiumon, Strabimon, Growlmon. Another Burning Greymon, so that's cool. Oh, dude, Ancient Garuda Mon. They got the oh, or Ancient Garuda Mon. Look at that. I'm loving. I'm so happy. I got the hybrid. A lot of the hybrid support because I just, I just want them for like collection purposes. Like I know they're not like extremely competitive, but like look at this artwork, dude. He just looks like a street badass. Oh my god. And you can also see like Lucimon's wings on the side. So if you get him, and the altar at Lucimon and the altar at Ancient Greymon, they like they like form a, a set. Like you put the artworks next to each other. It looks really sick. That's awesome. All right, so that's our uh, alt art secret rare. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. So last set I was getting like a lot of the red hybrid support. Now I'm getting a lot of the blue ones. All right, Clusimon, Leomon, Xiaomon, which is a pretty good uh, purple digi egg. I still think like I, it does have its place, but I still think Demi Marimon's just like in general like the best one. I have like 75 of them. Okay, nice. Another Chaos Mon. So hopefully that means for the English boxes, this should not be like too hard to pull. I know this is a very, very um, powerful like level 7. <laughs> like this is a very powerful card. Especially because you can use it with green, but also black decks. Um, so, you know, making black decks more competitive. I might, I might make a uh, like a blacklist uh, focused around Chaos Mon. I'm going to put them over here because that is awesome. It's a really, really good rare. Alright, so then we got more. I have like 75 Voltramons right now. Another Pugamon, another uh, Lobomon too, and another Valdramon. So Lobomon's cool. Uh, I really like the the fit, like the aspect of surprise that comes with this new set because now any blue deck that's any deck that's playing blue tamers or red tamers, you can just go into this. Like and if and finish the game because your opponent like might not expect that you're just playing like a Lobomon, right? Like if if I just have like a Davis on field, like I'm playing like Blue Imperial or something, you can just literally use this to, like finish the game. I think it's a very interesting aspect, um, which makes these guys much more playable 
versus like Kendo Gurumon and Burning Raymon. I think those guys like kind of suck to be honest, just because they're like so. Um, they're three costs, right? Another Thomas, sweet. And then last, uh, no, we got like a couple more packs on this side. All right, got Leomon. I like this artwork. <laughs> like he's carrying Patamon. It's kind of interesting. All right, another Jack Raid, got some on. Another Anubismon and a Dark Dramon. So, again, lots of powerful rares and commons. Anubismon lets you revive a level 3 uh, Digimon from the trash. It doesn't actually have to be purple. So, that works with Lucimon too, which is really cool. Um, and then, anytime one of your Digimon is played from trash, it just gets Rush, which is like also crazy. It doesn't actually only apply to like level 3s. So it works with like Millennium on too, which is pretty cool. Uh, Trident Revolver. For a rare. And let's get into the next pack. Under Pugamon, another Flamemon, and another Yoshi. I think I I think I like almost have a playset of her now. Which is cool. Again, like I just I just like collecting the cards, so I'm I'm looking for like a playset of everything basically. Which is another reason why I like sealed product, um, because of course, like singles are typically just the best way to get the cards you want. But I do just generally like getting like some of everything. Um, I think this is our first Izzy. Uh, so this is the black Izzy. Basically, you get to just play him and reveal the top three cards of your deck, and then stack them in any order you want. And if all the cards you revealed that were bl were black, you get to gain one memory. So potentially making him a three cost memory tamer which is pretty good like that's there's no other three cost memory tamer in the game um but it does like you do have to reveal all black so i mean if you're playing a pure black deck then i guess that works out another pedomon really good sunni zarimon which is nice and then boncho leomon which unfortunately this guy is like not the best whenever he's deleted you get to suspend up to two of your opponent's digimon uh so th i mean that's good but like why would you spend the time getting a level six on the field just to get him deleted in green at least right that doesn't like make that much sense but he's, he's cool all right and we got sogmon and then scorpiomon labramon songomon another oh shoot okay <laughs> another uh bunch of golemon and then we also got the first copy i think this is of blastmon Last one's a very interesting card. Uh, he has security attack plus one. So, oh, okay. First of all, he's thirteen thousand. By the way, just just take note of that. He's thirteen thousand security attack plus one. Um, however, if you're attacking, your opponent can basically block with any Digimon. Like even if it's not a blocker, right? They can just force him to attack that, which kind of sucks. However, if you play him with the new Sunizarimon, which gives everything black with thirteen thousand or more DP piercing then it doesn't even matter if they block or not because then you're still getting the security checks and then maybe if he has reboot or something uh, and then you got like a metal Greymon underneath him I think that could be pretty sweet okay so I've already got a uh, I've got four hollows we got the alt art uh, secret already so I think we should just have one yeah one like literally one more hollow and for the box they really be playing that Leomon meme dude I know I don't like Bayonet has to be aware of it right like, literally every Leomon has, like, a deletion effect or... Oh, we got a Kari. I think this is the first one of her. She's pretty sweet. Um, if your security is reduced, you can suspend her and um, gain a memory. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I, I don't know what it is with Bandai and killing Leomon. <laughs> like, he straight up dies, like, every season he's in. Another Atomic Inferno, Golemon, Spinomon. Oh, this is the... Okay, that's what it was. It was... I was thinking of Cerberusmon. It's Cerberusmon Werewolf Mode. So this is the one where if you play him, you get to... First, he has Rush, which is weird because he's a 9 play cost. But if you play him, you can delete another Cerberus cost and gain 9 memory. So this makes it so that you can basically play him as a level 5 for 0 cost if you already have another Cerberus Mon on field. And then that Cerberus Mon... Um, I mean, there's the other one that, like, has uh, the on-deletion effect. Like, if you if it dies, you draw two, discard two or something. So that's a pretty cool combo. Oh, we saw... Okay, I saw a, another holo. Alright, Strabimon, Falcomon, Meteormon. Oh, I think I know what it is. 
Oh, dude, another Valder arm? That's freaking insane. Two, uh, this is my second one, dude. That is so crazy. Hopefully that means he's relatively easy to pull because I just got another one out of the second box. Um, but yeah, another one. That is sick. I'm loving that, bro. Chaos Mon is so powerful. I'm ha really happy I'm getting multiple copies of that. Okay, so that should probably be it because I got... One, two, three, four, plus uh, the altar. Okay, five superheroes. Okay, so I should have one more, maybe. Oh, Marine Chimeramon's a pretty interesting card. Uh, he is... You can return one of your other Digimon to the hand, and, you know, discarding its materials, and then take one of your opponent's Digimon that doesn't have uh, materials and return it to the hand. Which is pretty crazy. Uh, so this works on, like, anything that doesn't have materials. It's not actually restricted to level 5 or lower, which is really good, but of course they don't have to, they have to be without materials, which is hard to do, but at the same time, if you're playing a blue deck specifically focused on that, maybe, maybe not so much. I got Geo Greymon, Rapaleomon, Goonimon, nice, and another tie. sweet. Will go very nicely with the Chaos Mons I've accumulated. <clears throat> the last two packs, All right, Devimon, Cerberusmon, Kendogurumon. Oh, Victory Greymon for our rare. So pretty sweet card. Digiburst two whenever he's evolved, and then you get to just kill something uh, with eight thousand or lower DP on his home side of the field. All right, last pack. <clears throat> All right, so you got Reclusimon, Jack Raid. Oh, wait, this guy's 10,000. Sogmon, he's 10,000 level 5. Oh my god. Okay, so we do have another holo, and it is Aldemon. It's another copy of Aldemon. Which is cool. I like Aldemon. Um, yeah, not much to say about that, I guess. Alright, so then for... <clears throat> that's it for the boxes. So these are all the hollows I got. Uh, and then, of course, the rare Chaos Mons. But, oh, man, two copies of Valder Arm is amazing. And then I've got, you know, double, uh, I was going to say Goonimon, double Aldemon, uh, and then a bunch of other stuff. But I'm really, really happy about the Ancient Greymon. That looks so beautiful. Like, look at that, dude. All right. Well, um, so that's it for the boxes. Uh, I didn't really have anything else planned, so I think I'm just probably just going to end the stream there. Um... I am going to, like, this was super impromptu because I just got these today, but I will probably stream again um, on Sunday. Yeah, I usually stream Sundays, so if you want to watch me play some uh, 1.5 format games, you should, uh, you know, hop in there, check me out, and, um, you know, but yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. So thank you, everyone, for showing up and watching some box openings. I had a blast. Uh, super fun. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.